Petra Cube Leos de Venezuela, SA is the Venezuelan state-owned oil and natural gas company. It has activities in exploration, production, refining and exporting oil, as well as exploration and production of natural gas. Since its founding on January 1, 1976 with the nationalization of the Venezuelan oil industry, PDVSA has dominated the oil industry of Venezuela, the world's fifth largest oil exporter. Oil reserves in Venezuela are the largest in the world, and the state-owned PDVSA provides the government of Venezuela with substantial funding resources. The government of Venezuela treats PDVSA as a cash cow, and the company only hires political supporters of the president. Between 2004 and 2010 PDVSA contributed $61.4 billion to the government's social development projects. Around half of this went directly to various Bolivarian missions, with the remainder distributed via the National Development Fund. Incompetence has led to serious inefficiencies and accidents. Reserves and Capacity Venezuela has 77.5 billion barrels of conventional oil reserves according to PDVSA figures, the largest in the Western Hemisphere and making up approximately half the total. This puts Venezuela as fifth in the world in proven reserves of conventional oil. By also including an estimated 235 billion barrels of tar-like extra heavy crude oil in the Orinoco Belt region, Venezuela claims to hold the largest hydrocarbon reserves in the world. Venezuela also has 150 trillion cubic feet of natural gas reserves. PDVSA has a production capacity, including the strategic associations and operating agreements, of 4 million barrels per day. Officials say production is around 3.3 million barrels per day although most secondary sources such as OPEC and the EIA put Venezuela's output at least 500,000 barrels per day lower. Politicization In 2006, Rafael Ramirez, the energy minister, gave PDVSA workers a choice, support President Hugo Carvez, or lose their jobs. The minister also said, PDVSA is red, the color identified with Carvez's political party, red from top to bottom. Carvez defended Ramirez, saying that public workers should back the revolution. He added that PDVSA's workers are with this revolution, and those who aren't should go somewhere else. Go to Miami. PDVSA continues to hire only supporters of the president, and PDVSA revenue is used to fund political projects. History. Equals 1980s slash 1990s equals, PDVSA purchased 50% of the United States gasoline brand Seatco from Southland Corporation in 1986 and the remainder in 1990. Equals 2000s equals. In December 2002 the Venezuelan general strike of 2002-2003 saw many of PDVSA's managers and employees lock out workers to pressure Venezuelan President Hugo Carvez to call early elections, and virtually stop oil production for two months. 19,000 employees left their jobs and the government re-established production with employees loyal to the Carvez government. The International Labour Organization called on the Venezuelan government to launch an independent investigation into allegations of detention and torture, surrounding this strike. 2. The strike caused substantial macroeconomic damage, pushing unemployment up by 5% to a peak of over 20% in March 2003. 3. The company has since formed its own militia, which all employees join on a voluntary basis, to ward off a potential coup by the government. It considers itself virtually indistinguishable from the state, its social programs more or less running the country's socialist revolution. In 2005 PDVSA opened its first office in China, and announced plans to nearly triple its fleet of oil tankers, to 58. 4. In April and May 2005, PDVSA, per an agreement signed between the governments of Venezuela and Argentina, sent 50 million tons of fuel oil to the latter to alleviate the effects of an energy crisis due to a shortage of natural gas. In November 2005, PDVSA and its subsidiary in the U.S., CITGO, announced an agreement with Massachusetts to provide heating oil to low-income families in Boston at a discount of 40% below market price. 5. 
Similar agreements were later set up with other states and cities in the U.S. Northeast including New York's Bronx, Maine, Rhode Island, Pennsylvania, Vermont and Delaware. Under the program, CETCO offered a total of around 50 million U.S. gallons of heating oil at below market prices, equivalent to a discount of between 60 and 80 cents a gallon. In February 2006 PDVSA completed ISO 9001-2000 process certification for its distribution system. 6. On July 28, 2006, credit ratings agency Moody's Investor Service said it was removing its standalone ratings on PDVSA because the oil company does not provide adequate operational and financial information. PDVSA has still not filed its 2004 financial results with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission that were due in June 2005. In 2007, PDVSA bought 82.14% of Electricidad Dad de Caracas Company from AES Corporation as part of a renationalization program. Subsequently the ownership share rose to 93.62%. PDVSA has made contributions to the protection of the environment through showcase projects in shanty towns and waste removal. PDVSA is Latin America's third largest company, according to the A ranking of the region's top 500 companies from Latin Business Chronicle. Equals 2010s In 2010, PDVSA loaned the government of Antigua $68 million to repurchase all remaining shares of West Indies Oil Company from Bruce Rappaport's National Petroleum Limited. In 2012, PDVSA announced that it would enter into a joint venture agreement with any SPA and Repsol in order to initiate a gas production project at the Cardon 6 gas block in Venezuela. Production from this joint venture is estimated to reach between 80 to 100 million cubic meters of gas. In February 2014, PDVSA and the Anglo-French oil firm Perenco entered into talks for a $600 million financing deal to boost production at their Petraure joint venture. In October 2014, Venezuela imported its first ever ship of oil from Algeria so that they could dilute their oil. Equals nationalization equals, Venezuela officially nationalized its oil industry on January 1, 1976, and along with it came the birth of PDVSAC, history of the Venezuelan oil industry nationalization, assets of ExxonMobil and ConocoPhillips were expropriated in 2007 after they declined to restructure their holdings in Venezuela to give PDVSA majority control, Total, Chevron, Statoil and BP agreed and retained minority interests in their Venezuelan projects. Arriving at a settlement with ExxonMobil has proven difficult with Venezuela offering book value for ExxonMobil's assets and ExxonMobil asking for as much as $12 billion. This and a number of other matters including the claims of ConocoPhillips remain before the World Bank a Euro unregistered trademark S International Center for Settlement of Investment Disputes. PDVSA has paid compensation for assets it has nationalized including $255 million paid to ExxonMobil on February 15, 2012 in compensation for nationalization of ExxonMobil's Venezuelan assets in 2007 and $420 million to be paid beginning in 2012 to U.S. firms Williams Coss Incorporated and Exteran Holdings, Incorporated for natural gas assets nationalized in 2009. Safety. There have been worsening safety problems since 2003, culminating in a gas leak at the Paraguana refinery complex in August 2012 which caused an explosion, killing 48 people and damaging 1,600 homes. Another major fire broke out at the El Palito refinery in September 2012. Presidents of PDVSA, Eulogio del Pino Exploration Geophysics, Anivacite ad Central de Venezuela, Rafael Ramirez Minister of Energy and Oil, MSC. Energy Policy a Euro UCV, BSC. Mechanical Engineering a Euro ULA. Ali Rodriguez Iraq Minister of Energy, Secretary General OPEC, LIC. Economics, UCV. Gasta Cube den Paraluzido Academic Vice Rector a Euro LUZ, Dean of the School of Social Sciences a Euro LUZ. LIC. Economics, LUZ. Guasa Perolamida Montero Brigadier General of the Venezuelan Army and Electrical Engineering MSC. Economic Planning. 
Ha Copyright Ktari Avadini. Roberto Mondini. Luis Gos DMSC. Petroleum Engineering A Euro TU, BSC Petroleum Engineering, LUZ, Gustavo Rosen Minister of Education, MA Comparative Law A Euro New York University, BA Law A Euro UCAB. Andre Sosa Piatri. Juan Sherka N. Guzmo N. Brigido Anorta A BS Geology, Universitat Central de Venezuela, 1942, MBA Stanford University, 1968. Humberto Caldera Cube Den Berti Minister of Energy. Rafael Alfonso Revard Carano of the Venezuelan Army and Civil Engineering, Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Overseas Assets. Citgo Petroleum Corporation, USA A Euro Citgo is 100% owned by PDVSA, Lina Currency S Petroleum, Sweden A Euro PDVSA owns a 50% stake with Finland's Nest Oil Oish holding the other 50%. Bahamas Oil Refining Company, Bahamas A Euro PDVSA was the sole owner of this oil storage terminal in the Caribbean until April 2008. The new owners were Royal Vopac and First Reserve Corporation. It is doing business as Vopac Terminal Bahamas. They in turn sold the facility to Buckeye Partners in 2011. Havansa LLC Refinery, U.S. Virgin Islands A Euro Havansa is jointly owned by PDVSA and Hess Oil Virgin Islands Corporation. Isla Refinery, Curala Section O A Euro PDVSA leases the Isla Refinery on the island. BOPEC, Bonaire Petroleum Corporation 100% owned by PDVSA, Ruroal, Germany A Euro PDVSA was a 50% owner of Ruroal GmbH. The other half belonging to BP's German unit Aral AG. PDVSA sold its part to Russia's Rosneft on October 2010. PDVSA acquired a minority stake in the Jamaican state-owned oil refinery in 2006. PDVSA also has offices in Argentina, Bolivia, Brazil, Colombia, China, Cuba, Spain and Netherlands. See also Petrocarib, History of Venezuelan Oil Industry Corporation Cube den Triebel Gas CA. Notes. External links. PDVSA. Petrocube Leos de Venezuela.